Hey guys, what is up? I thought that I would just show you a little bit of what's going on here with this rig. I want to try it out on the T-Rex Ethereum LHR Unlock. So this is the rig right here. This is the one I built yesterday. I actually fiddled around with it on the motherboard to get all these cards to line up in their correct GPU slot. So it's nice and easy to read starting from the most powerful down to the least powerful. So I'm running it on Raven right now. You can see here my power limit for the cards, my memory clock, cores are all at zero for Raven, and wattage. So right now, here's I got a Raven coin mining calculator right here. This thing on Raven is running 230.6 mega hash a second. Software says 1290 kilowatts so I add another hundred for the mining board sorry for the motherboard and the processor and the RAM so we're estimating 1390 electricity costs 12 cents pool fees 1% so this guy is doing 240 Raven a day it actually just dropped this oh wait no never mind that's good that's right that's about right so making 2069 profit per day on Raven here are the here's the cards right here you can see what they're doing here's the hash rate it's going along how long has this been going for one hour hour and a half so this is when I hour and a half ago I swapped all of these cards around to get them in the proper order like this so what I want to try doing is comparing this to Ethereum with the LHR unlock I have never done this before. This is going to be my first time. I'm not going to do some big in-depth overclock shebang, you know, crazy settings on there. I'm just going to do stock settings with a power limit on the cards. And then I will move it over to the some rough settings that I know work for these cards based on other cards that I have. We'll guess for the 3080 Ti, maybe look some stuff up online. In the meantime, to figure out where to put that, we'll run through this LHR guide right here, and we'll give it a shot. So here it is. This is kind of like the what we're competing against. We're competing against Ravencoin at 2069 profit a day, 240 Ravens. We'll check out this power too. So I'm guessing 1390 watts. Let's get at it. Hey guys, so we're back here. I just wanted to show you. I just updated the OS version on this rig. Here are the cards. Same cards. Here are the overclocks that I have right now. These are just kind of the base. Zero core, zero memory. Lower the power limit a little bit just to drop that because I don't want to overload any of these power supplies in case any of these go crazy. And here we are over here. So here is how it's doing. It's been running for a few minutes. It keeps, it, I have uh, the core, the LHR tune at four for all the cards right now. And if you look, it keeps, here you go, GPR5 LHR detected, changing tuning from four to three. GPR4 detected, tuned tune from four to three, from three to two, from three to two. Interesting, I might have to just lower that down to a two right off the bat but here we are okay here you see LHR three two three 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 two so automatically lowered those down changing from three to two I might have to try this again and just set it at two and see what's up so you can see the here are some some hash rates on ethereum 67, 64, 48, 36, 35, 25. So this, okay, these are all base clocks. So looks like it's looks like it's working a bit. Some of them. I am going to pause this for a second, and then I will throw on some overclocks and show you what that is. I'll put some absolute core clocks on there and some memory clocks, and we'll see how it we'll see how it does. We've updated the clocks really fast here. Let's see if this works. It says you shouldn't change these while mining. 
but I've done so anyways. LHR2211111. Okay, so this just keeps dropping that down. Here are the new clocks. I've got some... Here's like absolute core clocks on here. Some memory. Power limit I left the same. So some of these I know work okay, like the 3080 card, 3070 card, because I have non-LHR versions of these. So I threw the same settings in these. But for these ones, like the 3080 Ti, 3070s, 3060s, not sure where to put those. I'd look just quick online to see. So here's interesting. 30 watts, 43 watts. Let's see what it's running over here. 87 watts, 128. 36 watts on the RTX 3070. It's only doing 32 hashes. So that's not doing great. It keeps finding the LHR lock. Turning it off and turning it back on. Let's just check this out in the calculator real quick here. So it says we're doing 289 hashes average power 933 we'll just wait for the next one here to show up 292 at 937 292 at 937 let's just try that out 292 937 so we'll go 1037 just to account for the what did I say here 12 cents just to account for the motherboard and such, 1% pool fees. Okay, so this is ASHRAE 280. What I'm going to do, I'm going to reset this whole rig right now. I'm going to boot it down and back up. And then let us see if it works better from the start. These are all down to LHR 1s and 2s. I'm going to shut the whole rig down, boot it back up, see what happens. Okay guys, I have been running this for a little bit. I rebooted the rig and it looks like it's working a lot better. I'm going to let this stabilize out for a little bit longer. Let's see here. It's kind of hovering around that 320. There's 317, 316. It detected something so it shut it off. So it bump down. So we're doing about like 320 at, what is there? where's our wattage here? 371. Yeah, so there you go. So 1070, it's like 321, 1070. Calculate mining profits. 1594 is what we're looking at on Ethereum. Mind you, this has not stabilized out yet. We'll just check this again and see. Okay, it's still the same. So this is where our, this is our target right here. 2069 profit on Ravencoin. We're at 1594. So we're getting closer. I will let this run out here for maybe a couple hours and see where it stabilizes out at. But so far, with some pretty basic overclocking, it's not doing too terrible. Like we got 30 on the 3060. 40 on the 3060 Ti, 44 on the 3070. You can just see the clocks here. So they're not fan. This is, mind you, this is my very first time doing some LHR tuning, so I'm not sure where I should be seeing these numbers. I'm used to running these on Raven or just plain old Ethereum. So I guess if it unlocks 70%, this 3080 will do 100 on Ethereum. So that's pretty close, 67. Up, I think I had it up here at 69. So it's pretty close to that 70% unlock speed. I'm going to leave this for a while, let it run, and then I will come back and let's see how it's doing after it's had a little more time to stabilize. So we have been running for 6 hours and roughly 15 minutes. This is on the T-Rex LHR. You can look here. All of the cards, except for the 3060, bump down to LHR1. So I started them at 4, and then they've all just, I guess, gone down to 1. I'm not sure how much that affects this. Could be the clocks. Not sure. But if you see here, our 3080 is running at 66.9. We'll call it 67. This will do 100 on Ethereum, like a regular non-LHR card. So will I call this 70% unlock? No, this is more like a 66.5% unlock. 
So you got an 80, 76, 79 on that big 3080 Ti. So here's roughly what the cards are doing. You can see over here, I haven't touched the clocks since the last time. I just let this run for the full six hours. A couple of invalid shares. Here is the pool. So here's what is reporting in the pool. Current 305, average 291, reported 305. So, you know, that uh, that average is, is coming up as the longer we run this pool. So they're, they're going to probably meet right around that 305, looks like. So this is showing, what do we got here, 310. Like it bounces around a lot. So averaging around 305 I think is pretty realistic. So if you go down here to Ethereum mining calculator, put in 305, estimated power consumption of 1070. That's taking into consideration the motherboard as well. And that's just the software reading, mind you. I don't have anything in the wall to measure this. Electricity costs, pool fees, we are doing, just refresh this, $15 a day on this rig. So $15 a day, same rig over here on Ravencoin, you'd be doing 2069. So you get about 25% 25% more on Ravencoin than you do on Ethereum right now with the current 70% unlock, which I don't think is actually 70%. It might be if you screw around a lot with it, but it's just it's not worth it to me. How much tinkering would you have to do to get, to make up that difference? Probably quite a bit. But the fact that they are working on this and it's getting this close and it is as easy as just running some software, throwing in a little command is pretty awesome. It's getting a lot closer to being, you know, full 100% unlock hash rate. I have not tried mining these cards on Ergo or anything like that. So I don't know. I hear that they're limited on that as well. So maybe this will help out with that as well. I'm running them on Raven, and there is no issue at all running them on Raven. They get 100% hash rate. I don't need to screw around with anything. But they do use a lot more wattage on Raven. I was calculating out 1390. Again, software reading versus this 1070. So it's over 300 watts more in Ravencoin. But even so, electricity costs at 12 cents. It's saying $4 for Raven per day versus 308 per day. So even with that extra electricity cost, Raven is still coming out ahead. Mind you, prices affect this as well. Although Ethereum's doing okay today, Raven is not doing so great. Raven's down quite a bit lately. Ethereum's coming back up. What am I gonna do with these cards and all my LHR cards? I am leaving them on Ravencoin. Ravencoin is the winner for now. I will keep my full hash rate cards on Ethereum. Everything else is still going on Raven. I'm still waiting for the halving, which is supposed to happen in January of 2022. So based on some Bitcoin halvings, it should peak later in the year, maybe late 2022. We'll see what Ravencoin does, but I want to hold on to those Ravens until that time. So there, that's uh, that's the T-Rex. That's how T-Rex is doing for now. We've got six hours and 19 minutes, just about six hours and 20 minutes. It's been pretty consistent with those numbers. You can see here, pool reporting. It is, it's not bouncing around too bad. It's doing okay, kind of stabilized out a bit here. Shares found. But even with that, I am sticking with Raven. So hope this helps some of you guys out. Let me know if you want me to do a longer test, I can go into more in depth on each of these cards maybe. Maybe do some different overclocks on them. Maybe you guys have some better suggestions on what overclocks I should be using for these for these cards. But it was fun playing with this rig. This is the full rig of all of the LHR cards. So that's fun. I can do some fun things with this rig maybe and kind of benchmark everything at the same time. Should take a screenshot of this and I can throw that up. Let you guys see it. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time.